We'll go to our Start button and choose Settings. The connection name is going to be something like Office, if you have an Office VPN. But if you have multiple different VPNs, you'll want to you know, put in those different VPNs for each one. And then as far as the server name or address goes, if you're using SSL VPN, you're going to want to put the exact name in of whatever the server is that you're connecting to. If it's not using SSL VPN, you could just put an IP address in if you'd like. As far as the VPN type goes, if you know exactly what type of VPN it is, it's, it's faster to go ahead and click that one. If you don't know which one it is, then you're going to want to uh, just leave it at automatic and it'll find which one. And you can see here which ones are supported. Now we have the type of sign-in. By default, you see the username and password, but we're increasingly moving from username and passwords to other things like smart cards, one-time passwords, or certificates. And if you want to put your username in, you can here. I'll just put an administrator, for instance, and a password. And when you're ready, you can click Save, and it'll show up under the Add a VPN Connection. But sometimes you have to go out and come back in in order to see it. And there it is. And now we can connect or we can make changes to the connection.